Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Fierce Honest Hearts. I'm Heidi Ferguson, and next to me is Fittis Ramsey. And it's hot here on the East Coast. <laughs> we were both talking about that a few moments ago, and just the consideration of putting in our boxes and our, you know, our AC box in our windows. And, and I also know that next week, at least here in Philadelphia, it's going to get into the six back down to the sixties. And I'm like, Oh, thank goodness. Um, because I do, I, I tend to want to stretch that as far as I can and have the windows open, but the sun is so intense right now in any event. Let's start with a check in. Um, so I've been, it's, this, it's so fascinating. I've, I'm aware that I've, I'm in this place of transition, like another, and we're always, you know, every, every human is transitioning all the time. And I've been resisting and pushing it down for a while because I don't want to have to do or deal with any of it. And, and it's coming more, it's becoming more obvious and pervasive. And I'm like, okay. So I was on a meeting earlier and one of the, uh, one of the participants in the meeting shared with me that this is, this is something that's happening, right? Just, just in general in the universe right now. And so the other thing that I'm noticing, I'm noticing the, the, um, the universal impact because it feels big to me. I can feel that it's more than just my energy. And I'm like, wow, it just, it feels bigger. But I thought it was my imagination. And I'm like, oh no, this is, this is really happening. Um, and I guess I'm sharing this just so that if anyone that's listening might be sensing this as well, yes, this is what, this is happening in the universe at large and um go slow take your time with it there's no rush to get to the other side there's no rush to attempt to see the light at the end of the tunnel whatever more to, metaphor you want to use um i've never tried to rush myself through you know a big transition and i'm really grateful for that because that feels way much harder yeah um, yeah, so that's my check-in for now. Thanks, Heidi. I'm, yeah, I'm seeing you and how you allow the pace of the process to be what it is. Uh, I think I don't do that sometimes. So I'm just going, oh yeah, I, I push the river sometimes. And uh, sometimes it's not, if anything, it's going backwards. Right? Thank you for naming that. And yes, it's hot here as well. And I actually really welcome it. Like I like this weather. This is my favorite weather. However, I didn't expect it so early. Yeah. So it's like, wait, it's April, it's early April. Sometimes it's snowing at this point in New York, you know? Um, so that's interesting. And let's see, checking in. Hmm. It's really nice to just stop and check in because I think what I'm noticing is I have a lot of passion projects and a lot of like new school cohorts starting and some that have just graduated and then a push for a graduation for another cohort. So it's a really busy time as a teacher. Um, you know, it's like pushing for May, right? It's sort of what's happening. And I love all the work. And what I was noticing today is that I continue to have to do this dance with rest and recovery. And it's not always, um, I think it's gonna be my life's work, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I keep thinking like, cool, I'll figure this out. But no, I think it's gonna be my life's work to keep coming to my center, to keep knowing what it is I need, and to not be seduced by my passion, let's say, um, and to pace that, 
right? And I, you're, I think in five years, I'm going to say the same thing because I'll probably get better. But this is probably my, um, like my karma <laughs> uh, in this life. It's just like, oh, I want to do it all. And I also don't want to be run down. So like the questions of, as I look at my health, like where can I like create more wattage uh -huh. is one piece and what, and the other pieces and where do I need to say no? And they're on a spectrum, you know, sometimes it's no, not not right now, check back with me in the fall. Yeah. Or it's like, nope, this really doesn't rise to the top. Uh -huh. um, and then on the other end, as I said, is like, oh, and how do I nourish my cells and my spirit where I do have more energy, not simply to do, but to, to delight. That's really important to me. Yeah. Like my own pleasure in all of this. Yeah. Yeah. So thanks for the check-in because I don't know that I knew entirely where I was short of like heat, heat tired. Yeah, I'm really glad that we do these. We do mm -hmm. these check-ins. I think they're really important for, for ourselves, right? For ourselves and for each other, but really for ourselves because I don't, I can't speak for every human, but I'm not one of these people that literally will stop and take a moment for myself on a, on a regular basis. So I'm appreciating that. Yeah. Um, so I have, I have a, I have a follow-up question to your check-in, which is, um, I don't know how many, you know, pans you have in the fire <laughs> right now, how many passion projects you're working on, but I'm curious to hear about maybe one or two of them, if you would want to share that. Sure. Yeah, I'd be honored. But I think most people know I have my my clients, like my private practice, and then I teach at the relationship school. But what has been kind of kicking on the inside has been creating a like shadow workbook. Um, and not just, definitely for people who, who want to be introduced to the work, right? And do some self-study, um, but really for facilitators, uh. for people who are wanting to lead some of that work and maybe don't have the, the expertise or the, <clears throat> the facilitation experience. Uh -huh. um, so that's been kind of surprising because I don't consider myself an author. And I, and I have this weird vision of authors like sitting early in the morning, typing into their laptops. And it's like, no, mm -hmm. um, like getting creative around, I'm probably gonna have conversations with someone and have them write up stuff. Okay probably going to be the way it's going to feel juicy to me. Uh -huh. And then I'm working on my first online program. That is like the deeper psychology of our interpersonal stuff. Uh -huh. And, you know, you know, some of this, but like needs, boundaries, listening under stress, <laughs> speaking under stress um, and creating something because so often the same things were falling out of my mouth with clients and I want to just be able to direct them also uh, learnings um, maybe shave the learning curve for them okay. and also offer that up to people who maybe aren't able to work with me one-on-one -on -one. and it's like cool I hear you and you can at least get started uh -huh. yeah you can start with some self-study for them uh, so yeah, those are new and surprising and um, kind of my, my commitments aside from my commitments. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks for asking. Sure. That's exciting. Really yeah. excited for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm curious if you're up for it. Like we had a really interesting biz meeting. Um, we did. <laughs> Was it yesterday? It was only <laughs> oh my God, it was yesterday. Well, we yeah. recovered well then, um, knowing yeah. it was just yesterday. And just sort of the experience we had with first off biz meetings, right? Yeah. And then layering into that tech stuff. Yeah. 
So I can already feel my system be like, oh, that's not the fun stuff. Yeah. And I don't know, would you like to share just what, what came up for you or what you're like learning? Yeah. Yeah. So the first thing that I'm completely aware of is this is a pattern. Mm -hmm. And it's a pattern that really needs to shift. And the only one that can shift it is me. And, um, and I, and I, I don't want to say, make it a general statement that I struggle with technology, but there's certain things in technology that I do struggle with. And I'm also, I don't even know how to describe my learning type, but I have a very specific, I, I just, I have a, I, and to me, it's a different way of learning. I don't know what else to say about that. So there's that. And, um, and then the pressure that I put on myself, it is completely, it's not helpful. It's so out of reality. That is the truth. It is completely out of reality. And I'm like, no one else is expecting this, but you're expecting this of yourself. And right now in the moment, it's not possible, right? Like I knew I was not resourced. I was not breathing. <laughs> I could hear you, it, 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 even though it wasn't muffled, it felt muffled because I was not with you in the moment. And I could hear you saying, breathe, just, just breathe. You're okay. You know, you're right. And, um, which of course I appreciate it, but I'm also like, I'm, I'm, I'm here and I'm anyway. So there was a lot going on for me and, um, and when I don't feel that what I'm looking at on my screen is the same thing that, and in this case, it was you is looking at your screen. I go, I almost go blank because I'm like, wait a minute. I know that what is on my, is not what she's seeing because it, the way that you're describing it is different from what I'm, anyway. And so that feels frustrating to me. And, my, and of course, this frustration is 100% my own. And um, yeah, and I, and I don't want to say it was wasted time because I'm not going to judge it like that. Um, but it certainly could have been more effective. <laughs> like, right? I mean, you know, I'm just being real here. I'm, I'm being as real and as honest as I'm like, yeah, okay, this is your, this is your shit, Heidi. Like this is, this is a huge Achilles heel of mine that I need, that I really do. I'm seeing it as a pattern and, um, and, you know, I also felt like when we, by the end of the meeting, which was literally, it felt like crunch time because we had an hour. We are very committed to the time that we schedule, which I so appreciate. I can't, I mean, it really means a lot for a lot of reasons. And I'm not going to go into that right now, but within the last two, two and a half minutes, we came together. And, and I was like, oh, okay. And I appreciated you naming what you named. I'm like, yeah, she's right. She's a hundred percent right. Like, yeah, we, I, we didn't have to go through this. I didn't have to go through this song and dance and, and, and feeling the frustration. And yet I did. And there, that's where I am. Um, so I think that's what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, and, and then I felt there was a little bit more cleanup for me to do after we had ended our zoom call. So I, I was like, look, I, want to really be clear with you that if you felt my frustration was put upon you, that was not at all, not only not my intention, my intention, but also not the case. It was completely on me and about me. Um, and yeah, I'm going to stop there. I just, I'm getting hot. <laughs> it's hot. Whew, yeah. <laughs>
I so appreciate you sharing that and from your experience, which some of that I think I was gathering and some was actually really not evident to me um, okay. in the moment. So I was just like, what's going on here? And I, you know, you've given me access before as a friend to that being a place that can be upsetting for you, which is really where my like breathe, you're doing great. Like it's not a problem is coming from because it's like, I, I have some data from from historical stuff of what this could be right and and I think my only question is like why does this feel so tight I don't know why this feels so tight like tech sucks we're coming into a program two different ways so of course we're seeing two different things um and like why does this feel so hard right now and I was trying to figure out my side of the street uh -huh. at the same time which is like am I moving too fast Am I not being clear? Am I like this was going on in my own head, right? Mm -hmm. Am I am I skipping steps that I kind of know and not articulating them to you? And I experienced you kind of in two extremes, <laughs> which if you don't mind me sharing. <laughs> no, God, no, because yeah. Yeah. What I saw first, which I think wasn't maybe the full picture was someone who was like, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know what we're talking about here. I don't oh, know. And it felt okay. so aloof and so hands off the wheel. Okay. Like, I don't know. I don't really know. I have no idea. I don't know. And then it was like, who knows then? Because, you know, there are questions I'm directing at you. And then the other side, which felt like I was given much more access to the whole picture which was like, I'm struggling with myself here, huh. right? But I think the first half just felt like someone who's like. Interesting. And I was just like, I don't know what that is. I don't normally see that side of you. Yeah. Um, like all I could name was like, that feels out of character, <laughs> right? Yeah. And it might've just been the best you could do with where you were at. Cause I know that's true for me and mm -hmm. I know like I feel deep compassion for that place because I've got it too under under different subject matter uh -huh. Uh -huh. where I have a fantasy of how I should show up. It's it's linked to my ideals and my values and who I aspire to be. It's a really well intentioned fantasy, right? Yeah, aren't they all? Yes, and yet I'm over here, and there's this huge gap between reality and the fantasy. Yeah. And I'm fighting for it instead of just being like, yeah, maybe, maybe you overshot there, <laughs> right? Like maybe you just overshot. Uh -huh. And so, yes, it, it took the time it took. It's okay. I think it's really meaningful time because it helped us do some relational work uh -huh. and also, you know, sort of, uh, showing something for you that maybe you're wanting to shift. Like mm -hmm. that feels like time well spent when I hear that. And I know you know what I mean, but like. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, and I'm, I'm appreciating hearing your perspective because I didn't even realize that I was uh, giving off that ho-hum energy. Yeah. Um, because that wasn't actually there at all. Mm -hmm. it, it really was more, I don't know. Like mm -hmm. I feel exasperated mm -hmm. because I don't know if it, it feels when I get stuck in techno in, you know, in yeah. technology, I'm going to use that because this is the most current example, but when I feel stuck and I don't know where to go and, and what, mm -hmm. and how to fix it how to make it work how to you know all that i'm like i don't it's exasperating to me yeah same not, it's same. not aloof it's exasperating i'm like i don't know what to do yeah that helps like i guess <clears throat> i was reading that very differently uh -huh. it's kind of like if you were asking me to do something that's like hmm. right and it's like uh okay where do we where do we go and I just know that place in me where I make it hard on myself, you know, and where someone else is looking at me like, 
what's going on over there? Yeah. <laughs> right. And I'm thinking of me and my partner and, and times when I'm not feeling well and I just got some weird superwoman complex that wants to do it all. And he's like, Yes. Why don't you just rest for two or three days? And I'm like, I can't because my shame monster saying I should be productive and helpful and fair. And here's all these values that are coming up. And he's not having like any of that. Right. In, you know? Right. Yeah. Right. And then I'm short circuit because I'm putting all that pressure just on myself. Right. No one, it's not even like I can say he's going, hey. Right pick up the slack, right? There's, there's none of that out there. That's yeah. when I realized it was my work. Yeah. Right. And that place is so hard to get out of. No. It's like quicksand. Yeah. Yeah, I can spiral so quickly and deeper than I don't want to say most people because I only have myself to compare it. <laughs> Fair. That sounds ridiculous, Heidi. Oh my God. Like just saying it out loud. I'm like, what is going on? Oh my God. That's so funny. It's just so funny. Anyway. <laughs> but I really can. Like I can spiral so quickly and so deeply. And then, like, because of the spiral, I'm I don't even, I'm like, how do I get out of this? How do like I might have lost presence too, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Right. And so and then, yes, so not only, so all that and losing presence and then we aren't in alignment because I'm, I have sunk so low to myself. I'm like, I'm not even with her, you know? And so the alignment was also layered, but it was mostly like just what I could see visually was in front of me. And I was like that, I'm not seeing what she's seeing yeah. on the screen and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, but certainly... And I'm really glad to hear that you said it was time well spent because yeah, I needed to see that in myself. I really needed to see that. And I needed to have another experience. Like, okay, how many experiences do I need to, <laughs> need to have until I'm going to say, oh, there it is. There, there it is again. Okay, let's, let's flip that, Heidi. Let's flip it because... What, you know, do you want to do it again? No, I don't want to do it again. I right. want to change it. I want to change. I want to interrupt the pattern. That's what I want to do. I hear you having your back there, which sounds incredible. Yes. yes. Can I ask a follow-up question? Hmm, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to refer to myself and see if this lands. Like when okay. I expect so much of myself and I put that extra pressure on that no one else is pressing upon yeah. me, I tend to create more of a short circuit within myself. Okay, that was my question. 100%, yes. Okay. And I can short circuit probably faster than the, than the average person. So what would happen, this is totally, you know, hypothetical, yeah. if when that happens, you don't add the resistance and the pressure? Ask what that might, one more time. What might happen in a situation like that? Where you're, yeah. like you're stumped, you're exasperated, but you don't add the resistance and pressure onto yourself. Like what would be possible? It would be a, it would be a game changer. It would, it would change everything. <laughs> I wouldn't feel so exhausted and so exasperated and so frustrated and shit all over myself like it would be a, a game changer mm -hmm. right like ask yourself that question it would be I've been trying to practice it in certain elements of my life where it's like yeah. just just be cool with this like yeah. just be cool with this yeah. um what do you think you would have access to everything Or maybe not everything, but probably 90, 95% 90 percent of everything. Because still, if I'm a little, if there's a little tightness in there, you know, I'm just being real. Like if there's still, if I can still loosen the line a little bit. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I like that visual. 
Yeah. So just yeah. Loosen the line so it's not so taut. Yes. Yes. And your um <clears throat> your voice text this morning, this whenever, whenever I listen to it. Um in your voice text, you mentioned you use the word tight two times. And I was like, oh my God, yes, I can really be wound. <laughs> so tight like a freaking yo-yo I mean it's just so I'm like Heidi really just loose and and you're not the first person right you're I mean this is a pattern that's been probably lifelong um and you're not the first person that has mentioned this to me in you know in, in, a, in a different way but certainly I've heard this before I'm like yeah okay it's 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 time to not only listen, but take it in and maybe take it in a way that I haven't heard before, right? Because that's always helpful. And then switch the pattern, like really intentionally. And I realize this is not going to happen overnight. Like I know that. And so I want to take that pressure off myself because I can really dig in there, right? Just, and I don't want to do that. So um, know that it's going to, you know, it's, it's probably going to happen again, but maybe it won't be as intense. And yep. oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And to be fair, I don't even know that I was experiencing you as tight. I was just like, why did that feel so tight? Like we don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but kind of like, we're not usually like that. Like what, right. you know, because what I still, no matter what comes up between us, my wish is that we stand shoulder to shoulder at the table and like look at the thing and go why did that feel so tight do you know why that like huh I'm curious like what what could I have done because knowing you were exasperated and stuck I probably would have slowed down uh, okay I probably would have said why don't you just take five minutes uh, uh -huh. right yeah and I think because I was like like, I feel like I have a teenager who just doesn't care. I'm like still pressing on to ask questions. Yeah, yeah. Going, yeah. Hmm, my, not even that my scared animal was online, but there was like such a curiosity as to like, yeah, what's going on here? Which doesn't matter when one of us is out of presence. That's right. all that really matters. Right, right. One of us is out of presence. Yeah. And then, you know, I mean, it's my work as a coach and sometimes I might forget it as a friend, but like, then the only work is to get back into presence. Because the thing that got you spinning is not the thing we should be. <laughs> right. That's my takeaway. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it is time well spent. Just look at all of this. Yeah. And for our audience, you know, maybe type in the chat or if you want to journal about it instead and just name like where you can get tight or have a fantasy or put too much pressure on yourself. And if you're willing to release it, you know, declare that. Yeah. Like knowing as Heidi is saying that it's going to be a real process. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then my last question is, but I want to add something to that, to what you just said. I want to add one thing. If you can find the humor in it, <laughs> that's so important. I mean, it is, it's for me, it's everything to be able to laugh at myself. Yeah. And I think I probably learned that from my father who was such a kid at heart and really I don't think there was a day that went by where he didn't laugh at himself because he realized like he could really identify and realize his own ridiculousness. And I'm like, thank God I had that as a role model. Right. Like, I don't want to take myself seriously yeah. all the time or too. I'm like, that's exhausting in and of itself. And I'm like, no, I need the looseness. I need to mm -hmm. I need to energize different parts of my body, which laughter does. Mm -hmm. And you breathe differently when when you're laughing and and that's huge as well that's important too yeah. anyway i just felt I that love that but yes like sincere but not serious yeah right. yes yeah. yeah i think i'll add to that just the way that we both that we both reflected 
because I was not expecting anything from you in terms of voice, you know, ownership mm -hmm. or whatever. It was just, I was over here. I what like, I didn't leave our call going. That was so weird. Like I expect to hear from Heidi, right? Siren, dogs. <laughs> also Clara. Um, and what I was doing at the same time was going, oh, what could I have done differently? What could I have done better? Like, did I go too fast? Was I judgy? Did I add to that feeling that you were having already, right? Like, I'm just touched that we were both looking at our own side of the street. Me too, me too. After a crunchy moment. Yeah. Right, I wasn't over here, arms crossed going, waiting to hear from Heidi. Mm -hmm. um, I was like, oh, wow, that, wow, okay, I was chewing on that too, like, mm. but from a place of like, how could I have shown up better for you? Yeah, yeah, and I want to name that as, as you and I continue to stay committed to our relationship and to our friendship and ourselves, and the more that we have these situations that feel a little crunchy or off or whatever, I, I'm grateful for those times because I always learn from them, right? Mm -hmm. And I will say probably the most important thing that I learn is I, I'm aware that my, my awareness increases every time. And because it increases, I'm, I'm not only looking at my side, but I'm mostly looking at my side of the street because that's where my crap is. And that's what I know that I need to clean up and, and change and what, whatever the metaphors words are, but yeah. And, and, and so that makes, it makes it easier for me to humble myself with you. And I can say, look, I, I think I need a little more cleanup here and I'm owning it. And I don't know what that looks like, but here, here's where I am. Yeah. I think you and I are both exquisitely sensitive in a relationship mm -hmm. and also wanting not to have stuff under the rug. Ever, ever, no. No, I'm not a proponent of, of shit under the rug. <laughs> no, no, because then people <laughs> come and they pile more crap on top of it. I'm like, that stuff stinks. <laughs> And guess what? It builds resentments and no. it's just not. It's, it's not relational. Yeah. It's never relational to do that. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Thanks, friend. Thank you, friend. Yeah. It's, I just love that we can say, hey, this happened yesterday and here's where, we're, where we've gotten to with it. I know. If, if we had recorded like five minutes of right. that, you know in contrast to this yeah <laughs> yeah yeah mm. thank you um, is there anything else you want to be seen in there or elsewhere no i don't think so but i'm looking at the time i'm i'm sensitive to the time so shall we pivot to a card <laughs> so let me know whenever you're feeling called middle moving that Finger. one, that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fill in the blank. <laughs> you drive me crazy when. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> you drive me crazy when. <laughs> I love this question. This is hilarious. Um. You drive me crazy when, um, when you're a little too flowery and a, uh, right? And I'm like, can she just get to the point? <laughs> right? You know, and and then I've I never been called flowery. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but what it does, I will say, what it does is it slows me down in my response and I'm much more, and then I'm, I realize 
I'm much more sensitive because you've been sensitive. I'm like, I want to return. I want to return that, you know, I want to reciprocate that. So anyway, sometimes, and I will say I'm, I'm much more used to it now that we are what three or four years in. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I'm hearing more flowery. Yeah. Flowery yeah. Words. yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yes, certainly not the first time I've gotten that feedback. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, let's see. You drive me crazy when. Gosh, I don't even know how to articulate this, but it's sort of in, in line with yesterday's convo. Oh, okay. You drive me crazy when it looks like you're just taking your hand off the wheel and not like co-driving. Uh -huh. um, and I don't have directions. Well, then That's stop it. and ask. <laughs> no, <right? laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for that feedback. That's great. Yeah. And that's my own also attachment style. That's like, oh my God, what's happening? I don't even know what's happening, much less to troubleshoot. Like, yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this was good. <laughs> so good. I love you, friend. Thank you. Thank for... you, friend. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And thanks to our audience. Uh, this look at anything that resonated with you, please drop a note. We'd love to hear from you. And if you have questions, if you have reflections, if you have um, you know, something you were touched by, or like just complete dissent, it doesn't matter. Like show up, let us see you. And uh till next time. Lots of love. Thanks, everyone.